All right, in this video, I'm going to be doing a little review about Oberlo, and I'm going to show you a bit of a progress with my Shopify store based in Toronto. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to give you guys a few updates about the store and what I'm planning to do. So I've, I like the whole idea of drop shipping products from AliExpress into my customers that buy on my Shopify store. So to start drop shipping um, from AliExpress to Shopify, you know, it, it, it could take a bit of time. You basically have to download the image. Uh, write down all this information, put it all in here, and then publish it, and it's on your store, ready to go. Um, and you know, you have to figure about the shipping here, how much it'll cost. So whenever you look for sh uh, products on AliExpress, try, or make sure actually, that they all have uh, ePacket. Um, you don't want your, uh, you know, your customers waiting months to get um, your package, their package. All right. Um, so this could take some time. So what Oberlo does is basically simplify the whole process. Just go through the steps of, um, you know, installing it. You you'll be able to download a Chrome extension that's super useful, and then you have the whole instructions here. I still have to actually finish some of these videos, uh, but I, I'll show you what I've learned so far and why I actually think this is a great app. And it's pretty cheap. Um, there's a, uh, you know, you can try it out for free if you, and then you continue if you like it. It's like four or five bucks, so it's not much. Um, and it's worth it for what it does. All right, so if we're using the website, AliExpress, um, you know, You'll have this border, green border. I'll tell you it has the e packet. I'll talk about it in a bit. And then you kind of just go through the information. See it has good ratings, the amount of orders. And then you get this little button, which is your barrel button. So if whatever you start pressing here, it'll just basically add to your products in a barrel. Um, but I've done this method, so now I want to actually try doing it inside of barrel. Let's see if I can find something like now. I want to keep away from trademark stuff. I don't know if they have a license or not. All right. So after a bit of looking around, I I decided let's try this one. So I'll put it in my import list. I'll go here into my import list, so I'll click it here. All right, so let's get this into my store. So I can so I change the name. Um, the description and stuff gets imported from AliExpress. Um, so, you know, I suggest to do a lot more research than I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna, for the sake of the video and how I've been going along and trying to put products in, I'm gonna show you this way. Um, okay. If we don't need any pictures. Hmm. Okay, let's just leave it at one picture. Let's push it to the store. So I decided to call the product Fly With Me. Uh, it's a woman's sweater. Um, so here it is. Here's the variants. I'm gonna have to add a few things to basically mainly the the sizes. Let's see. 
So let's see how it looks so far. Not bad. Uh, the quality, image quality, I don't like too much. But yeah, but if you do, you know, a lot more research, you can definitely get um, a lot more products into your store uh, using Oberlo. Uh, yeah, so definitely like using Oberlo. Seems like a great product, and this is what I'm going to do to move forward with um, my Shopify store. And then after this, once I got a good collection of stuff on my store, I'll have to definitely figure out how to narrow my target audience and try to uh, figure out who they are. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, I hope you found this useful. And if you ever thought about using a barrel, you know, give it a shot. I definitely think this is a great app. And yeah, I'll be sharing the other apps I've been planning to use. I, everything I'm trying to learn one by one and then, um, you know, sharing this information with you guys.